when you make a name for yourself and it's off your own back, there's that, it gives you so much pride that you're doing this all on your own. You're, no one's giving you any link-ups or nothing. You're doing this all by yourself. Mm. And if you can do that, and then you're making, you know, you become a bit infamous. Um, you know, you're making a name for yourself, like mm. literally. Mm. Um, there's that sense, that, and that's the drive that got me. Killer, killer, podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct central London. Very much central London, central than we would normally be. We are in Camden on the high street, Ooh. neck of the woods. Not too far away from uh, my humble abode, but far enough for you guys to get the... That get the woozies, you know what I mean? This is declimatizing to a new place is always hard. So, to camera on now, um, we are in the mecca of what is uh, arguably the the mecca of graffiti in London at the moment. Uh, it is the Camden Open Air Gallery, aka Camdemonium. <clears throat> Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everyone's got the television app inside the place. We have the man like Finn. Hold tight, Finn. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> we got PIC inside the Easy. place, <laughs> and we have Seika DDS. BFB, come on. One time. One time, one time. Without question, as you can see, it's going to be uh, Prime Minister's question time over here with the amount of microphones we've got. But I tell you what, what a place we're in now. Explain yourself, Finn. What's going on? So this is Camden Open Air Gallery, a little project we started back in um, February. Um, we've got shutters on at the minute, trying to tell the story of Graf from London, old school, bringing it all the way up to people who are currently up. Um, sat here with Candemonium boys, who kind of got me going. Got a lot of respect for them, got a lot of time for them. They go right back. Uh, we've got Seika here, first artist who got in touch. Got PIC, I think it's number five. Yeah, he dragged me in, <laughs> yeah. this one. It's all his fault. So all in all, it was, it was almost like you were running as fast as you could, with, the, with pushing, pushing the car as it went, and then the lads, do you, you kind of discovered this as it happened? Well, no, well, I got a random message on Facebook about someone looking for a, for a artist, graffiti artist, street artist, to do uh, shutters in yeah. Camden. Yeah. I was a bit pissed off, come back from painting and decorating. I don't normally make these phone calls, but for some reason I made the phone call. I spoke to Finn yeah. and uh, he said, I want to give you a load of paint to, to do, paint a shutter on, the, on, on Camden High Street. And I was like, double take. What? <laughs> the what the Seriously. fuck? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, and then, so I knew he was serious when he got the painting. Um, and then, I mean, I was just like, share the love, you know, spoke to uh, you know, um, Hito, uh, other, you know, it's, you know, other writers and stuff, uh, uh, Mel, um, and um, so we did the we did the shutters, and then from that, it's kind of, you know, the, from doing the, the the original. That was, I mean, that was to be fair. I mean, it was uh, Finn's, uh, you know, idea. I mean, he started. He he was looking out his window, saw the the, the you know the. The bombed up. Uh, and he wanted shutters. more. He, yeah. it, it was also dur during lockdown, so all the shutters were down, and it was just it just looked. It, I love I love vandalism and all that, you know, all yeah. the tags and stuff. But it just yeah, it just wanted to liven it up, make it a bit more vibrant. So um, yeah, and then on the on the strength of on, of how well and and on uh, you know the, the how that went, the the gallery was born. And he, the, because it's in, Cam, it's, it's a Camden Open Air Gallery, because mm. it's Camden Open Air Gallery, he wanted local artists mm. to, to, uh, to, you know, to do the first exhibition. Mm. Just so happens that me, PIC, uh, you know, uh, Hito and Form, you know, we're local artists, so. It doesn't get more local than that. Yeah. that <laughs> And this is where this is where the mighty PIC comes into play. So, yeah, dude, dude. Well, yeah. So, yeah. To lead on from that, so um, so Ollie was like, "P, you need to get on this." Um, 
and I was a bit busy, and then I didn't really get on it well, straight it was away. A bit like, is this geezer a Ros or a what? <laughs> well, yeah, no, what? no. Let's be honest. No, we did. So we, yeah, no, we had, we had to do some verification checks, uh, you know, and uh, it turns out he's, he's a good one. So um, yeah, no, because you know we're doing something illegal. We've always been a bit illegal, um, yeah. you know. Whatever side of the fence you're on, it's um, you can still go to prison for this shit. So um, yeah. so yeah, you got to be careful who you let into your circle, really. You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and that's that's how it went. So after we'd done some, some verification checks, <laughs> <laughs> love it. It's like yeah, actually this this looks good, and then the paint came through, and it's like okay, the guy's serious. Um, yeah, and just took an instant liking because I'm all about like you know vibration and the feeling, and mm. you know, and yeah, I, he's, he's got and, yeah, yeah, you know, mm. that, that that hippie. What do you call it? Hippie trippy <laughs> shit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so yeah, yeah, we took the chance, and um, you know, he's a good guy. I could feel the vibe was good, and uh, intention was right. And um, yeah, and I, I literally said, like, if there's anything we can do at all to help or make, you know, facilitate something. Um, what was your first impression of the boys, Finn? So they they all came down the first time I met you. They all came down at the same time. Uh, PRC turned up in your van, and it was kind of like, I had a set of shutters, but we hadn't painted them yet. And it was kind of like picking which shutters they were all gonna do. Um, like, I'm not from this world, I'll be honest. When PRC um, sent through his piece, um, <laughs> didn't even think it was a graph piece. You know, I thought he was just doing like a little love kind of yeah. thing. You know, that's how outside of this world I was. But you know, they, they, yeah, you kind of welcomed me in. And like all of you helped me out, you know, educated me on what it is. Bit of guidance. Bit of guidance, guidance, you know? But yeah. you know, well, it, it, it worked both ways because, yeah. like, to, de- to have the opportunity to have, do uh, shutters on the high street and then also have the, like, the paint bought for you, I mean, it's like. Nah, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend because it was like it's kind of right. like um, Seika started one day and then. It kind of went, and then Seiko ended up doing another one. I think that weekend we painted like five shutters. Sun was out, wasn't too cold. Yeah. This is in March. Mm. Yeah. So that was, was good. It, 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 was, it was buzzing, like the people yeah. walking past and all that, having a few beers, and that people walking past showing enough interest. And yeah, I mean, just, just I mean, it's wicked, mate. Like, stand there. Location. The location yeah. is it? It's yeah, right yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah night time yeah. like looking over your shoulder just relaxed to yeah. be able to do it in the sun with a couple of beers and just the people going oh that's wicked and taking photographs and yeah a real movement it started wasn't it Finn curiously like you you really do come at it from a I have no idea about this scene you you must have opened one hell of a Pandora's box like these two before us are fucking legends and we'll get into that later but but for real for real like you've just got these two conduits that which must have just blown your mind i mean when you look around the exhibition now and all these legends that have and kings have now and and gone you know they're they're so relevant and yet you must have just had this crash course of (laughs) (laughs) crash course i mean I'll, i'll be honest i'm still learning to be you know there's a lot of names a lot of people um, but yeah, I, I really opened up a box about something that I really didn't know anything about. Um, but what what I found is it's it's a group of people, it's a community. They're all stand up people. They look out for each other, um, and yeah, they welcome me in. And like that's why, you know, my main thing is just kind of respecting that culture because I'm not from it. So I've got to do right by them first. Well, that, can I add to that though? Because that, that's that's like cause what what is good? Because you said you know nothing about it, um, and uh, and you're just open and you're willing to you know like to, to learn, um, and you know the trust values you know and all that. It's um, you know equally it goes both ways. But yeah, that, that was that was nice. Oh, Instead oh, of coming in like oh I've got this idea, but you're all standoffish. There was none of that. I, you know because I felt the vibe off of you, and I'm like this guy, you know. I felt like I needed to take you under my wing a little bit and sort of oh, give no. you some guidance. No, nah, massively. Know? I mean, you got me out of working in a warehouse. So, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, if got we more look, pressure here, though. No, nah, yeah. Like, <laughs> if, um, yeah, I've got a lot of time for these lot. Um, yeah, it, throughout this whole process, it's been like, I've got a question, they come and answer it, or they might have a question, and I, and I help them out. But, yeah, I remember when I, like... I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but when we got the space, Ollie and Hito came down. 
Yeah. And I mean, it was properly. Yeah, no, it was a total. It was a total. It was a total. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and like, it was, it was, a, it was a good cut two or three months in the making, wasn't it? Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then you, at first, you, you would, like the ceilings were coming down. I'm paint. I'm a paint and decorator, so I'm like there's a, a lot of work has gone into this gaff. You know, you know, there's like you know, uh, um, RSJs and all kinds of shit going on in there, man. So yeah, but um, like what, what what I meant by that is that in the sense that like going through that process, you know, getting prints made, getting frames done, all that stuff, getting the artwork in, you know, writing the bios, doing all this bit, and then, yeah, it, they all helped out throughout the whole thing. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to pull it off without them. That's interesting. You, it's interesting you say that, because when you were putting together the event, and it was literally shutters as an event, which, which I might just add, let me just add value to what, what's going on what we're talking about here. Shutters is taking what was initially created outside as part of an exercise during lockdown to brighten up the high street of Camden and beyond. You then moved it inside to this venue. And that comes with a whole load of different obstacles. Obviously, the size of the, the shutters, the, 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 the artists that are coming onto the shutters. But then the devil in the details, like, what do you put for the blurb of someone like, I don't know, Mean or Zonk? Or, you know what I mean? Where do you, what do you put in the little bio that sits next to the shutters without implicating them? Or get, you know, there's but so much, isn't it? I'd just like to say also, there's also ordering the shutters, getting the right shutters, cutting the <laughs> shutters up. I mean, I'm, I, I fucking hate... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I hate uh, angle grinders. I, I hate angle grinders. <laughs> God bless him. Uh, uh, P.I.C. P- 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 Cut all of these. I yeah. mean, I, I just, I do, what did I did? I just buffed the edges. Yeah, yeah, he I'm was like, the fluffer. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just fluffed the edges of the, of the shutters with the angle grind. I don't like, they, they scare the shit out of me. And, you know, one little, and your, your fingers are gone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. I know. I'd also like to say, uh, I think it's worth explaining that the first exhibition, by, for some reason, a couple of, a couple of uh, shops up, um, Hito done a, a shutter and the, that shop decided to take that shutter down, they were replacing the shutter Finn, being the entrepreneur that he is, saw the opportunity, grabbed the shutter, they cut it into a few bits uh, PIC did a throw up on one of those shutters and they put it in the shop window and th- as I understand it, they could have sold that shutter ten times over mm. hence Mandem said, <laughs> let's do a shutters exhibition. So if that shop hadn't have taken down the shutter, wow. then, it, it, I mean... It, there was it, a catalyst it, of events. Yeah, a exa- series of exa- catalysts of events. Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, there, was a ca- there was a catalyst of events, and we're, like each one has just seemingly organically moved into the next one, and that's what's really nice about this, because we've never really done it before. Yeah, I've had a couple of little bits here and there, or whatever, <laughs> bit of experience from doing something similar, like with the Team Robbo staff and all that kind of stuff. However, to be right involved from, from everything is, um, yeah, like... It, but this was a catalyst of events going back on point. Is, uh, that if without those, that sequence, we wouldn't be here now. And it's mm. like, looking back on it, it's just like... And as it turns out, you know, no one's done... It looks like no one's done this before. No. So, you know, yeah. I can't really say that it's, it was any of us that... You know, it was my idea. This was, you know, but it just if mm. if those events hadn't happened, then this wouldn't have happened. So, and then if anyone can prove us wrong, I know there's been some shutters here and there in in, uh, in places, but not an actual pure shutter show, cut to size. <clears throat> I don't think that's been done before. Unless you can prove me wrong, um, you know, and I'll put my hands up and say, yeah, all right, fair enough. But give me some evidence, and uh, mm. but I still stand by it. This is the first London show, first London shutter show, um, and first shutter show which I know of. Possibly in, in the world. world. Yeah, yeah and that's you. big things, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's organically just moved that way, which wasn't even the idea at the beginning. Well, yeah, it wasn't yeah. an idea. It was just, just, just do some painting. Barcelona, here we come. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I was going to say, I mean, this, is, this has certainly got legs in terms of, I mean, Candemonium yeah. is your guys' inceptions. Um, big shout out to everybody else involved, but, you know, as representatives here, explain a little bit of what, what, your, what your vision is. Without giving too much away, copyright 2022, Candemonium, um, and, you know, Anything you want to give away in terms well, of what you're thinking? Well, there is are. ideas. It, like, I don't want to give too much away because other, other, I know there's other people sort of uh, always scrutinising what you're doing. So yeah. I don't want to say too much. However, um, if this works, if it works, um, it'd be the first of many. 
And from our perspective, because it's organically, all we want to do is just bring everyone up with us, you know, and pay homage to those who put their life and liberty on the line. You know, they've been in the in the game for 30, 40 yeah, years possibly. 100%. So it's like, why can't the real people, you mm. know, get you know get somewhere with this? So if if we can help facilitate that, that's hopefully the plan. So um, how many? Crossed. So who have you got? Explain the, the the writers and who's inside this place at the moment. Ooh, in this side of this place. Um, so yeah, to get the black book out, and um, so we've got Excel. It's an encyclopedia, like from from day dot. He knows he knows the names. Don't worry about, about that. We're about I'm to not, get into that. Don't you worry. I, I, I'm uh, doing what you call segueing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, okay. Well, I appreciate that. But yeah, Excel. So we brought him out 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 to play. Um, fuel, the mighty fuel, prime, you know, um, new gun, ST, we've got act as well, uh, we've got jet, we've got 10 foot, just getting 10 foot was, that was just a whole other story, but that's up between mm -hmm. us and 10 foot, that's fine, <laughs> uh, we've got diet, we've got those, we've got Mel, teach, zombie, Mia, yeah. oh my gosh, we've got can, zonk, zonk, yeah, we've got Sar what is his name? Sabre or Sabre? What do you call him? Sabo. See, I always cock that up. I know it's an S and I know that much. Um, we've got Mean, mean. Grant and Chain, Chain uh, 72, he uh, Hito, If, uh, oh. Good Self Saker. So, yeah, it's quite a... Yeah. Yeah. Kiss for Kiss oh 42. sorry, Kiss Forty Two and Pixie. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. Did I say Jet as well? Did I mention you Jet? Mention Jet. So yeah. there's some new, there's some old, there's um, yeah, some fresh and some bold. It <laughs> is so so broad, like so much, like in one spot. It's it's. Yeah, it's even hard. that alone, I think, has never been done. Having like this calibre, you yeah. know. Uh, that's what. That's what I, I was. I mean, when I first saw it all up on the wall, I just to see all of these different artists. I mean, some of them haven't like you know put picked up a spray can for 25 years, maybe even longer, you know. Mm. But to have all of these different eras of graffiti artists, I mean, all in the same room with, with like, you know, it's, it's unprecedented as far as I'm aware. Mm. It's, uh, and there's some serious legends in this room. And the way I mean. you guys did it as well, like, it was in a space of six days, if that. Well, wasn't well, it? Yeah. well cut, cutting up the... Uh, Think that took a week, and then yeah, and but within a week and a week after that, uh, five days, wasn't it? it yeah, was five days. None of this artwork existed over a five day period. And within five days, we got everyone down and painted within five days. And your good self obviously come down and, yeah. and filmed quite a lot of that, which was brilliant. Oh, and mate. all the support yeah, that you've given fun. us as well, yeah, yeah man, you know, of course, because because we're a new because this is a new thing. No one really knows about us, so you know any any decent exposure is good exposure. We haven't got a mailing list as such, you know, this is a new gallery with no mailing list, so. We've got the goods. We just need to get the goods out there now. Yeah, you know? And that's, yeah, that's yeah, the scene. Yeah. And I feel like a bit of a, I feel like us as, as Camdemonium, we should be moving towards that. You yeah. Know, got me thinking now. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do know a lot of these characters. You guys have both got histories in graph. Yeah. DDF, PFB, um, WRH, WD. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're talking about d decades of, of, I mean, you guys were there from the jump. Pretty much. Yeah, between we've got some pioneers and some them heritage. There's some heritage here. Yeah, we've got some raw blood, Provenance. raw Pro blood and provenance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me, PIC, first about that the early days, the early era, because I know you were you were a rap crew before PIC be became uh, yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but, well, I was always, I was into graphic anyway, being from the area. So I was always like uh, aware of writing on the wall and. Um, certain faces were the old skinheads, um, Invader, Rolo, Polo, Rizzo. These were all names I was always I was looking at anyway. Mm. I, I actually had a little insignia thing that I'd done. So I was pre-hip-hop, pre-electro. I was already into sort of... I was already noticing graffiti. Mm. Uh, one particular story, there was uh, this... this, a this toy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Toys have got to start somewhere, you know. Toys have got to start somewhere <laughs> too. <laughs> So, you know, toys got to start somewhere. <laughs> no, this Definitely the, not. This, this is the banner we love. No, this is the banner we love. No, it's exactly. you got to start somewhere. Yeah, you so, do, um, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, there was old, old stories that went around, like Invader it was meant to be this uh, black guy with no legs and, you know. No, it wasn't meant to be, it was. No, exactly. It, it was like an urban myth. This is the maddest yeah, thing. It was an urban myth, but actually it was true. His brother went to have a stock. And Shades knew his brother, um, and so uh, Invader used to come down. And if anyone started on his brother, he would fuck them up at really? lunchtime or at the end of school. Yeah, so he would he would literally grab up you and move like 
crawl his way up you and then bust your head up. Jeez. Yeah, he was bad. Ruthless. I heard, I heard that he used, to, he used to bounce off the floor <laughs> and like chin people and then like drop them and then just... Yeah. So this was like the yeah. urban weird stories that I knew as a kid. Um, so I already, already was knew about, you know, I was already interested in graph. Um, and then Partners in Crime came along. Me and my mate was rapping in school. So I was like, my dad said, oh, you two are like Partners in Crime because we was inseparable. Hence, Dad, that's a good name, took is that, that. Is that you nicked your, you, you, sorry, you nicked the crew name off your old man? He gave us the name, yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, we was inseparable. Nothing, to, nothing to do with Subway Art. No, it wasn't. I only saw that later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, this is the, um, <laughs> this was the stamp, this was the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and because I was into it, I just, and I was traveling a lot, because I was basically staying down his place a lot, uh, my part, uh, Gary Forbes. Big Looks up like Gary. Gary's. Big up Gary, Big yeah. Up that. Um, staying down is a lot, down in um, Mottingham, uh, which is southeast. So mm. I was getting up, doing the slam doors, leaning outside the slam doors. Um, just, yeah, I was on a mission. I was on a mission, so. You really were on a mission. I, and listen, present company as well, I would, you, you, you king London. You're the king of London, well, dude. Isn't it? Thank it, you, yeah, well. one time, yeah. Yeah. One time. One time, you, yeah, you fucking nailed. I had a good go. I had a good go. Yeah. Could have done more as well, but I had yeah. a good go. <laughs> did you used to, uh, curiously, did you used to get sketches off um, uh, Prime and Robert one stage? Because uh, we, a... we was, obviously, we was in the crew together, so yeah. Prime's given me a couple of outlines and I busted out them. Because I'm never, I've, I'm, I'm, no, I'm the bomber. I've just been a bomber. And that's what, I love just seeing repetition, stamp. You know, the brand, that was the brand, you mm. know, putting the brand out there. That was really my, that's my forte, really. However, you know, because I've never said I'm a piece of, I've never really said I'm an artist, you know, mm. you know, because I'm like, I've seen, like, you paint with Prime and that guy, he's an artist. Oh, well, yeah. You see what I mean? So, I like, mean. I could never put myself in that same bracket. So I had to do other things other way, hence getting up and bombing mm. uh, and made a name for myself doing then and doing it with a bit of style. And mm. I love all that coming from the, you know, the hip hop, the B-boy stuff. Mm. So... Yeah, and letters and, but yeah, I've never really been so much as an artist. Got an outline, a couple of outlines off of Prime. Doze has done me a couple of little outlines. I'll type Doze. We got Doze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, never had an outline off Robbo. To be honest, his outlines weren't too tough. <laughs> really? Okay. I, I love the man, but he was never been that tough, you know. But but he he was there, and uh, you know, I got a lot of love for him, you know, mm. still. Bless up, Robbo. Yeah. Um, WD was very much the, the, the West End kind of crew, wasn't it? The, the yeah. party crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I guess you That's kind it. of got up a lot more because of that in those areas. Yeah, well, that was yeah. the West End in them days. It was, yeah, it was crazy. It was the Wild West End. It literally mm. was. So, yeah, it was all a load of graffiti guys all bombing. Uh, big up the WD lot. Um, yeah. Old Street, um, um, smashed Old, old Street up. Old Street yeah, got yeah, battered. Yeah, yeah. Dragon was, Bar. Was, it Dragon kind of, Bar, yeah. that was a bit later. But, yeah. This in turn, Old Street, that got smashed. Yeah. Thing. Well, you had the problem. You had Drax around there, and you had uh, Robbo. That was their station, so that was the hub. It was mm. like a hub. So yeah, that used to get battered. So did Tufnell Park was another hub, weren't it? That used to get battered. And then you got all the South London sides. You know, Elephant used to get battered, and Clapham used to get battered. So yeah. But... Any any fun stories? Any any you want to indulge in? Oh God. Here oh, we I go. Need more time on that. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Saka. So... <laughs> um, Tell me, brother, tell me about your stories. Tell me about, because you guys seem to be really so tight with each other, like you know each other inside out practically. Talk to me about your journey in graph. My journey yeah, in graph, all right. It's, it's sli sli slightly different. Um, I, I kind of hip-hop, the first kind of generation of hip-hop came over. When I, when, I, when, I start, when I was 11, I started going to school in William Ellis, and it... it we were you got you got uh, suspended for break dancing in the corridors, and uh, we had little, we had little crews. We were walking around with uh, a roll of linos and uh, you know boogie boxes, and you know there was the music, the break dancing, uh, the graph. Um, uh, uh, form seventy two was in my class. Whole time. So we form. started like that's when I first met him when I was eleven. So we started kind of you know I've always been a bit of a doodler, and uh, yeah. Didn't you two have a battle though. Yeah, like, uh, no, like no, 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 that's, that's quite funny because <laughs> actually he, he, he bit my outlines and he, and he, and he, and he, and he, and he burnt me with my own outlines. <laughs> we, we, I'm going to pass this mic over to PIC now. On, 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 on paper, on paper, form, he, he, and he'll tell you this as well, he nicked, he, he, pirate, he pirated my outlines and, and, and burnt me with my own outlines. But they were like, yeah. 
But um, so yeah, oh, that's an interject there. That we was used a to go, story, we used to go up to uh, yeah. like Covent Garden and like all the Chrome Angel Trailblazers and all that. Mm. I mean, they were just like fucking. You know, we were like, a few years older than us and just were totally in awe. And mm. London Graphics was the only place you could get, uh, you know, the bunt lacks, yeah, the bunt that. lacks and stuff. Um, but uh, for. I can't remember whatever reason. I, I think I've I've I've, re, I've I've retired about seven or eight times, and then some. Re, so I, I, I it's all a bit blurry. Maybe I start. That's when I started taking mushrooms and going to festivals when I was about fourteen or fifteen, bunking off school, sniffing gas and Tibet <laughs> and I, So um, <laughs> we're from Camden. That's what you think. Uh, yeah, what, what 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 happened next? I can't really remember. And until I went to uh, Islington Sixth Form, I already kind of knew like uh, like M- uh, Mel Bus One. Mm. Uh, they introduced me to uh, Car One Three Eight, Shoe Two, Sub. Um, I had to mention a few XL, um, Noise, mm. uh, Sen One, all, the, all those, yeah. all that mob. Yeah. So wow. then I come out of retirement again. Um, uh, Rencar started writing TKS. Um, that's the first time I went, one of the first and last times I ever went to a train yard mm. because we went to Neeston. It got, it got raided and I, it's the, I think that was the first time I ever went train yard. It got raided and like, I, I totally shat myself. My arsehole mm. went. Um, <laughs> I ended up hiding in a gravel truck for about two hours and I just, I didn't even know where Neeston was, let alone what a train yard was. And I was <laughs> so I've, after they'd stopped kind of running around, going, we're going to fucking kill you little wankers. And I, like, I, I, uh, they they terrorised you, though, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. No, 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 they, they, I mean, it's, this was... This was Literally two weeks before um, uh, Ray's Ray got, uh, yeah. got died in the same yard. Yeah, it was two weeks before because uh, that when Ray's had a big chase, which is very similar because yeah, 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 they yeah. terrorised him as well. It was a, They've it done was, the it same was, thing. It was, it was a raid. It was a BTP raid for. Yeah. So I mean, that kind of almost put me off yards for life. I've, so I've never really. I, I mean, the insides, bit of bush bombing, uh, insides and street bombing has been more my. For, and then and then after that, I think. What about the, the Unity was, Jam? When the, 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 the well, whole... the, that's when. I, then I started raving. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I stopped, I retired again. Yeah. And then, because um, I'd met, I'd met uh, Elk many years before, he always used to like my characters. He pulled me out of retirement again. He's like, here's the bunt lack, this is the wall. I want you to put something next to my... So we did a, we did a, a raise, uh, raise uh, RIP tribute, tribute, tribute in, in the Latimer Dump. He did the L piece in um, uh, up in Fulham. Fulham, yeah. Just that, that was I think on, in the same year that, and uh, I mean it, that was his uh, his thing. Uh, the, the yeah, but he got you got you back out of retirement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean every time someone I've, I've I think uh, you know I've forgotten about it, then someone puts a spray can in my hand, and then I'm just like, oh fucking, I love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, and then uh, yeah, I mean I f- think I've. Uh, I can't remember what's... I mean, my memory's not that great. No, no, <laughs> but, you've, you've nailed it. Um, You're nailing it, man. Just more recently, just at the beginning of lockdown again, I think I hadn't painted for quite a while and I was just I was out with uh, PIC, uh, Hito and Form and we were up at Broadway Market, this little Hall of Fame up there and, like, you know, they were doing a, a little bit of graph and I was just like, can I nick a bit of paint off you? And I did just some something, you know, off the cuff and then... Uh, Again, just off. Here I am I again. Love, love oh, love hello, it. me. I love it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you take yeah. little breaks, then you take a little break. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I've all, every time you've, it's in your blood. Every time you walk, I've, like since I start first started doing it, every time I walk past a like a, a big white wall or a, a space, I'm like. Even mm. though, yeah, where's my pen? I want to. I want to put. I want to. I want to put. A, Curiously, though, I'm just thinking. Because your intention, your guys' intentions from the early doors was to do it for the reasons, you know, for whatever reasons you did as a kid. That slowly changes. You know, the priorities change in life. Your reasons for doing it change, mm-hmm. right? I think, I think ultimately the, the reasons, well, no, the, I don't know, for me personally, um, I just like seeing my name. It's one of them. And it's a, it's a branding. Dog's pissing. Real Ego tripping. Uh, well, I, lo- I le- left the ego at the door a long time ago. But I'm just saying it's what I like. And it's what uh, gives me fulfillment. You know, to put it this way, there's advertising. We get subjected to advertising. Bombarded with that shit all the yeah. time. It's like, hold on a minute. Little old me. What about me? I'm going to have my go on this. Mm. So, And so I've always got that kind of, you know, 
I wouldn't say anti-establishment, but you know, non-conformist way mm. of looking at things. You know, there's a big world out there, and I'm going to have a little go at it myself. And it, and it, that's the thing. So it's like the self-drive and the passion that has never left me. You do seem like a very self-driven person. I mean, in the short space of time I've known you this year, mm. which is only a year compared to everybody else around the table, I sense a real strength in determination, drive, yeah, athleticism. Where, well, that's what Hito said to me. It's like four days before well, this was meant to be like <laughs> launching. He uh, didn't tell me at the time. But at the night of the, the launch, he said, really, four days before this was going on, he just thought it wasn't going to happen. But he didn't want to try and... He's like, where do you get that drive from? And I don't know. I just got determination, grit, determination. And I guess that, that sorts out... No disrespect to anyone, but that's the difference between people that, are, you know, do it and don't do it. You know, people mm. that have got that drive to go out and, you know... And most of the people in here have, have got that drive and determination because mm. they made a name for themselves at certain oh. points. Exactly, exactly. Mm. You know, like Chain, like getting, finding him, yeah. you know, getting him back out. That guy, he was like, he was ruthless. And yeah, no, like, you know, I, I crazy. Seen, yeah. like borderline mental. Like all of us are borderline not right in the end. <laughs> no, we're not. But like just society and the way they look at us. However, but th that drive and that passion, if you can do that, you can put that, that if you did apply that to a business acumen, mm. you know what I mean? Like you can make things move, man. You can make things happen. And I guess that's the drive. And... You know, I see this opportunity with, with Finn and this gallery, and I'm like, you know what? Everything that I've learned so far is building me up to make me ready for, for this kind of opportunity. Yeah, so. I think, I think I'd, I'll pass the mic on to you, Finn, with this question, because I think maybe it's a good opportunity for you guys to kind of talk a little bit about it together. No, no, I'll pass this one, because I think it'd be really good for, okay. for conversation purposes to kind of interject on this. Because the landscape of graph, obviously, is constantly changing and evolving you know if you think we'd have a podcast in 2021 about about it all uh an exhibition space about it all yeah. uh graffiti stores yeah. do you know what I mean what do you see what do you see is in like the future of things for, for, as a young man Finn yeah for, for me if you're looking at like graph <clears throat> I think it's just the most misconceived thing in the world like people just put it down as tagging and it's not um, you know, I'm learning. I still not have the knowledge like half the people you were chatting about just then. No idea. Um, <laughs> but um, like, you know, I, I, I go through London now, and you can kind of see where, who's been when. You know, I kind of link it up. And but yeah, it's it it's a it's an interesting art form, and they, they do they risk life and limb, you know, to write their name essentially for, for no reward. For, and As yeah, literally is. for oh, ever. Uh, no reward. Well, but the reward is obviously seeing your name on a on a yeah. train yeah. or on like, a reward. financial reward. That's it's not like, like, it's not a reward that like most people would understand. Sure. But I, like, I think, I, yeah, I get it. I definitely get the rush from doing it as well. I think that for me is massive. Like, I can see how you can get hooked to that, mm. you know, getting chased, all that stuff. Um, but like graph in general, I think, who knows where it will go? Like, I'm gonna try and do my bit to support it. I think this show's got a good, like educational value to it. Like there's lots of people coming in from the street, like it's Camden High Street, you get a lot of people who literally know nothing and then say, oh, that's quite cool. You've got no idea who this, you know, and even me writing the bios and, you know, doing all the, the promo stuff, it, learning about it, you know, it's, it's, and it, it does change with the times. Like it's very, like, I don't know, it's on, on like political, in the zeitgeist, I think it's the word. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't. It, it's an opportunity, and you're you're having a go, and it's like you know, just like just the way it's all organically moving towards, and what's happened so far. Yeah, it's like I just feel like the, I feel the planets are all lined up for us at the minute. Oh, things are just what, seamlessly just moving and moving forward. Yeah. Um, so it seems just right. It's like positively right. I feel that energy is right. Um, you're not jumping on the bandwagon, obviously, and because and you know. A lot of people have done, a lot of people still will do, and they got nothing, you know, you know, don't know anything about anything, but they just see it, there's a pound note to be earned. So, um, but that's why I'm like, well, fortunately, we've hooked yeah. up. Yeah. And now it's like, well, hold on a minute, we can give some guidance in the, to tell you who, like, look around us, who are the people that need, you know, and hopefully it's the first of many to, to bring up yeah. as well, that, you know, give the people who've paid the dues, you know, give them, you know, about time they should be getting some money, right? Or getting some kind of reward from it, you know? Yeah. Thousand percent. When I look around here right now, I mean, we talk about unity jams. I mean, we'll get into that in a second. But this is like Hall of Fame. Yeah. 
yeah, this no, exactly, yeah. it's like, it's like a, this this is like a modern day kind of well it's, i mean it's nothing it, of course like unity was like exceptional and amazing event you know yeah. but in the, in the in the 90s and brought loads of people together but i mean this is like the equivalent if you could to have the other i, I don't know because i as i said i've i've retired and i've got, but for but now he has as, uh... but, but, but as far as i'm aware to have all of these different like legends like these names in the same room like and which was the same as mm. when i compare it to a unity that was you had all of these different Different crew, uh, different crews, and these different artists, mm. like top artists, in like painting in the same vicinity. I mean, it's, this this is kind of that's what it's I'm saying. Par, it? it's, it's, on so, yeah, it's on par. It, I mean, it's yeah. not, I'm not saying it's the same, but it has that in common with. Uh, Remember the, uh, uni the Unity Jam was amazing, and, and big yeah. up, big up to Elk for doing all that and putting that on. One time, uh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, but that's just like a that's like a Hall of Fame graffiti jam, and there's been you know lots around the country and it's going all around the world. Yeah. But having like the caliber like this in a gallery space, where you know where we do it just on the street for for nothing, and now like hopefully, keeping these crossed. Um, Someone can see the potential in this, and I keep, you know, envisaging that and manifesting that someone's going to buy the whole collection. Because as a collection, the first off collection like this with this calibre, it's, it's peanuts, really. If you took a looking at it, the financial thing, if you look at all the money, it's peanuts. For, you know, for, for for like a, I mean, that's that that's my job, really, yeah. is like marketing it and selling it. But yeah, I mean, it's got massive potential because I think, I mean, art. If you look at you know, Damien Hurst's work, it's not that technical. You know, it's just because other people want to buy it. The, the value is all associated with what, um, yeah, what someone's willing to pay for it. But I think graffiti is something that's just been massively overlooked. And you, you wouldn't have street art without it. You, yeah, that's you know? it. What you I wouldn't have, the four, yeah. The four, four like runners, you, exactly. Yeah, you're the four, without the graffiti the boys, like, yeah. without that's like the old school and the, the pioneers who were the first to paint the trains and all that, you know, without exactly. those, then it's paved the way. Everything's been a stepping stone you know, to where we're at now. And I think it's about time that our culture and our people get, get some just deserves back. You, you, know? you said something um, last week that was quite profound. You said that graffiti was the last form of expressive art that won't be silenced. Well, exactly. It's, um, you, you can't, you can't, um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? They can't, they, my, I just got a brain fart, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, it, it can't be silenced. It can't, well, it can't be silenced, but also it's, um, Censored. Mm. You can't censor it. That's the word I'm looking for. And there's a lot of censoring going on mm. around the world. It's, it's non-conformist, isn't it? It's yeah. non-conformist. It's. I mean, you people. You, you know, you can't censor it unless. Well, you, you can if you if you go wake up. You know, you get the well, jet, jet wash on it or the yeah, paint, you over paint over it, over it, and it but... the next day. But yeah, I mean, generally, you know, you, it's quite a good way to get your message out. Or just if you're just putting your name up, just to say, you know, to the, you know, to whoever. You just put two like, things I, up I, there not, for those. This is <laughs> illegal. I don't give a monkeys, you know what I mean? It's like, and also putting, scribbling your name everywhere is, and seeing your name up everywhere is, is also quite nice. <laughs> Does that ever leave you guys? Does like, because you know, you, 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 you're the, you, you, the buck stops with, with you. PIC it mm. stops with you. I, I've gone through racks of fucking rockinthecity.coms and you were there, early bird. Yeah. Does that ever leave you? Nah. Yeah, once you, well, there was a point, <laughs> quite a funny story actually. Uh, it was one time when I got nicked. This was like mm, late 80s, and um, I was all a bit cocky, big ego. Um, and I, I said cockily to my old man, I was like, Dad, you just don't understand, like giving it the large. And he was like, I understand, I under fucking stand. If he was robbing a bank and getting some money, I'd understand. And then he proceeded to strangle me like a rag doll and throw him up a little flight of stairs. So um, he didn't get it. Because it's all like his his thing is like it's uh, it's a monetary thing. If you're not getting a pound note, son, you're risking your life and liberty for what, you know? And and it is it's it's, it's slightly unhinging, especially for your parents thinking, what is this about? Mm, um, that's why a lot of people don't understand it. Yeah, it's and it like, is, and it what is. You, what are you getting out of it? But, you know? what's, but what I was trying to, in my cocky way, what I was trying to say was, when you make a name for yourself and it's off your own back, there's that it gives you so much pride that you're doing this all on your own. You're, no one's giving you any link-ups or nothing. You're doing this all by yourself. Mm. And if you can do that, and then you're making, you know, you become a bit infamous. Um, you know, you're making a name for yourself, like mm. literally. Mm. Um, there's that sense that, and that's the drive that 
got me. And that's why it's like once, once you've done it, once you get past it, you normally get like a two-year stint. So, you know, 15, 16, you do it for a couple of years, you might get nicked, and then you get into uh, something else, drugs, party, and whatever. Mm. And that's it, you've done two years. That's you start, a story, story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat, so that's generally, repeat, repeat. Yeah, yeah. that's generally what happens. That's the cycle. That's the cycle of it. So you normally get two or three years. Someone's in it for two or three years. They come in, make a big statement, bam, bam, bam. They get up and you're like, oh, wicked. Can they sustain that? Do they sustain that? Now, there's only a few people that do that. And, and you know, there's, that. so once you get over that three-year hurdle, I would mm. say, then you've got it in your blood. Mm. Um, and then that's, that sorts out, you know, the wheat from the chaff, as they say, kind of mm. thing. And um, yeah, and then you're like, oh, you've got longevity, and then next minute, 10 years is gone, and then two decades is gone, next three decades are gone, you're like, fucking hell. Where did Will go? Where am, did I, am I getting this old, really? <laughs> it's like, yeah. But yeah. again, just to, to, to come back to the, the now and looking at it, there's a lot more opportunities for young people to get involved in, the, you know, having an exhibition space in itself. You have, although there is a route to passage and you do have to cut chops, you do have to earn those stripes. Exactly, exactly. At least it's nice to know that in 2021, 2022, whenever you're checking this, that there is opportunities out there that have been laid down by well, the likes of yourselves, hopefully guys. Hopefully this inspires people, you know. This is like, so it isn't graffiti, it isn't just a dead end thing. Yeah. And that's what it's been labelled as, you know. Um, they all, it, we've always been classed as the vandals or the the gut, you know, the, the scum, basically. Mm -hmm. And we've always been that. That's always been how it's been. Okay, within the news, within the the, the society, that's always you know. And this, and then it's only been the last ten years for someone I won't mention the name, but he changed the public's perception, mm. um, which I take my hat off to him for that. Mm. Um, so that was a big thing. That mm. was a big thing. And you know. It is an art form. Not only is it an art form, you've got to be like, you know, if you're, if you're going to paint a train, not only are you painting the train, but you've got mm. to get in and get out without being seen. So you've got all that, okay? And then, you know, you're risking your life and your liberty. There's, there's so much that goes with it. It's deep as shit. Which is not just painting now. This has yeah. gone beyond. This yeah. is like you're breaking and entering. You know, you're doing it stealth. You, you know, you, you get, you, in the old days, it was scanners. You had mm. people like, you know, you, you, you had to, we had to be on point. Now, yeah. you, you could do a heist with this information or this kind of logic and mentality. Yeah. You could do some serious stuff. And a lot of people did and they went down that road and they went like the, you know, like the bad path and the dark path and mm. they started doing you know, naughty stuff like that to earn a pound note because graffiti wasn't gonna give mm. you that. It wasn't gonna give you a monetary thing. So if this, where we're at now, inspires people to actually, this is a good thing, you know, this is a movement and we've got some really good people within this movement and this is subculture. People need, you know, people are starting to know and, un and hopefully respect yeah. it and understand it more. I'd just like 100. to say, I mean, obviously, up in like Shoreditch, uh, the East London, there's been there's been other uh, other galleries that have put graffiti artists. Uh, they've done graffiti yeah, yeah, exhibitions. Yeah. One thing is, no one's done a shutters. That, no one's done the shutters uh, uh, painted on shutters, and no one's also had like the, the, the caliber of uh, uh, these, these artists and also the, like the different the, like mm. the generations, the old school and the new school kind of, you, mm. know, uh, you know, major hitters. Um, also, another aspect is not, there's, not, there's never been a, a, like, a, a, like a professional gallery in Camden like this either. Full stop, yeah, that's right. Which is it's also, first, well, which, it, yeah. which, 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 I mean, it, as I, uh, you know, which came about from the, you know, Finn's like original kind of just wanted to brighten up, you know, when he looked out the window, he just wanted mm. to liven up the street. Mm. I don't know if he had a business plan then or it was just something, you know, it's, but anyway, um, the, the gallery, having a gallery in Camden is nothing like that. And, and, it's, and I've lived around there my whole life. As far as I can remember, there hasn't been a gallery like to this uh, standard, you know, a, a proper gallery in Camden. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, exactly. You, you did. You stuck, you stuck it right in there. <laughs> and with uh, with, uh, with, <laughs> with the, yeah, oh, good. don't be falling. Me. I'm falling off now. I'm, I'm waiting. You know what I mean, these wheels on these seats are moving. I'm out. I'm out the door. Um, with spokespersons like yourselves, boys, it's it's, it's a real uh, thing. I know. You, you know. I'm speaking for years here, but it, it's uh, it's it's a luxury to have such an array of artistry, plus have the voices that allow to explain the stories behind these guys. Um, where, can we get, where can we get the information, Finn? Where, tell, tell people where it's at. All on Instagram, come check us out. It's um, at CamdenOAG. 
or check out the Camdemonium boys at, at Camden Camdemonium Collective. Collective. Yeah. You know, get their um, get their following up. Their new thing it's born out of this. Yeah, um, yeah. Without a doubt. So get following them, and then on our website, CamdenOpenAirGallery.com. Um, but all the info's there. But mainly, you've got to come down and check it out. You've got to come have a look. We've got some stuff coming for Christmas. Uh, so are we staying open a bit longer? What's happening? What's, we're, the, we're, good we're, we're, What's we're, the good news? What's the good news? Well, firstly, before we before we get on to that, we've got to say thank you to Mark. Yes, thank um, you, Mark. Sorry Mark about all at the graphic castle. maker. Like, he was meant to be doing a Christmas show, but he's very kindly. Let's extend, because it's been getting a lot of love. Um, so, big ups to him. This, um, is, this by the way, is, is, is Christmas 2021. If you get here at Christmas 2023, it's definitely not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but the good news is we will be extending the show all the way through till January the 10th, mm. right? So you've got a long old time to come down and see it. Alongside that, we're going to have some little projects coming. We've got a few nice ideas. Um, but it's gonna, we're going to try and make it like a bit more of a hub, get people down, get people coming to see it, come see the history. Also, yeah. Yeah, you've got the workspace out the yeah, back, haven't you? The well. It already back, seems to be come, come uh, little... like organically come, becoming a hub, in it with like, you know, yeah. like the uh, Mir, uh, Map Con, uh, yeah. Con and, uh, and all that kind of thing going on here. And I think there's going to be. There's going to be book uh, 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 launching potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be you know afford, but there's going to be signings and you know like a writers bench type thing going on. All that. Don't tell all the ideas, yeah, bro. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. Away. <laughs> we've, got, we've got our side. It's <laughs> yeah. not even more. Nah. It's not even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, we, we, we've got some. We've got cut some that. good things. <laughs> yeah. If it's we've a got... secret, if it's top secret. <laughs> nah, it's all good. We got some good things coming. Um, yeah, but come down, meet me. Come meet. Everyone who works here, oh, I've got to say thank you to them as well for oh, thanks, keeping man. the shop open, man. Like, you know, they've been down, they've helped me out. It's been wicked. With that, with that question, it, this place feels like the home of, and I said it at the top of the, the show, because it feels that way. It's filled with love, filled with um, dream and filled with truth. It's, it, it's, it's almost like a, like a beacon if you, you know, if you look out close enough, you'll see you see the bat sign. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, like the bat sign. Like. Yeah, <laughs> it's the home. It's where everything is at the moment, and uh, it, uh, may it remain so for for a good while, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you so much for joining us on the Killer Keller podcast. Thank you. Woo, thank yeah, you. cheers, Keller. Yeah, man. Thanks for giving us the time, man. All I day. This, nice my gang, my gang. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, big up Finn, big up PIC, big up Saker. We are, I mean, honestly, the legacy in here is crazy, and I hope you enjoyed it. A little something different for your Thursday morning, you know what I mean? Anyway, we're out like it was out of fashion. Big up, boys, you stay lucky yourselves. Nice one. We're out like it was out of fashion. Don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't, all right? Stay lucky, people. Peace. <laughs>